Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on my channel and welcome to the second week of Foundation Friday. I'm super excited about this series. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. So for today's foundation, I have the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation. This is obviously just a sample that I have, so I don't have the actual packaging. And I can't really tell you about the actual packaging because this is all I have. So let's go ahead and read off of Sephora's website about this foundation. So it's the Josie Marin Vibrancy Argon Oil Foundation Fluid. So it is an oil-based foundation, which doesn't always work really well for me because I have combination skin with some oily areas in my T-zone. I'm not really sure how this is going to wear for me. But on their website, they have 14 colors which really is not a very wide range, if you ask me. The color that I have today is Juicy RG50. So what it is, it's a revolutionary medium to full coverage skincare foundation fluid powered by 100% pure argan oil and nutrient-rich pigments for vibrant, glowy skin. It's formulated to activate your skin's vitality with Vibrancy Argan Oil Foundation Fluid, like a fresh squeezed juice, Vibrancy utilizes a revolutionary cold pressed process that preserves the powerful hand selected ingredients for the freshest, most effective skincare foundation. Argan oil is really, really good for your skin because it's hydrating but it doesn't clog your pores, so that's cool. Vibrancy energizes your skin with the essential nutrients it craves and is designed to interact and adapt to the movements of your skin with delicate fluidity for a radiant dimensional finish. The breathable, lightweight, medium to full coverage formula features a powerful blend of moisture enhancing ingredients that help soothe, smooth, and restore skin's luminosity. In a nutshell, it's supposed to be a hydrating foundation that's good for your skin. Suggested usage is to start at the center of the face and blend outwards, and if desired, layer for additional coverage. I'm thinking this is probably really ideal for dry skin, but I'm gonna try it out on my combination skin and just see how it wears. If you're interested in seeing me review and demo the Josie Marin Vibrancy Argon Oil Foundation, then you're in the right place. Please keep on watching. So I have already washed, moisturized, and primed my face, and I used my Benefit Matte Rescue Primer. Today it's one I've just been loving lately. I'm honestly a little bit nervous about the color of this foundation because I have no idea. It says that it's Juicy RG50, that's the color, and usually R means red, which usually means like medium to deep tone. Looking at Sephora's website, when I click on the color it says RG50 is for medium skin tones with neutral to neutral red undertones. Um, I am neither a medium skin tone or a neutral red undertone, so this is going to be very interesting. <laughs> it's pretty dark. I'm going to be tan today. I don't really know how much I need, so I'm going to blend out this side of my face with a brush and just see what it looks like with a brush. for sure dark but not terrible it's not terrible but I am gonna blend it down my neck a little bit so it's not too cray cray it is for sure a medium coverage I'm gonna apply the other side with a sponge see how it blends out Got to blend it pretty far down the neck today. I actually think I'm getting a little more coverage with the sponge than I did with the brush. Okay, so here is what it is looking like with one layer. It's very glowy, very luminous. And right now it is looking like a medium coverage. So I'm going to go in. I have some more on the back of my hand here. I'm just going to put a little bit more on in the areas that I think I want a little more coverage and I'm going to do that with the sponge just to see if the foundation is buildable. I 
it is building up to a full coverage. So you could for sure go in with a second layer with this foundation and it will give you full coverage if you want that full coverage. If not, the medium coverage is really, really pretty. But even with full coverage, it still looks very skin-like, I think because it's so luminous. Other than it being too dark, um, it feels really nice on my skin. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey at all. It doesn't look cakey. It looks very skin-like. It's super luminous and pretty. It does feel very tacky still. Oh, look at that difference. I don't think I'll be leaving the house today. It does still feel really tacky, so I'm gonna set it with a powder just to make sure that it doesn't move throughout the day. And because I already know that I have oily skin and this is an oil-based foundation, I'm gonna set it with a powder. It is 121 right now, so we're gonna call 120 the check-in time. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so now it is 2.30. It took about an hour to do the rest of my makeup because I filmed a tutorial on this look. This foundation has been on for about an hour now and I was able to really brighten and lighten up the color by using a really light concealer and I set my whole face with a lighter powder as well. So I think I was really able to salvage the color pretty well. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. So far it's looking really nice. It was a little bit tricky to blend even just powder over top of it because it is an oil-based foundation, but once I was able to get my base powder on, then I was able to blend out my contour blush and highlight really easily. But even with all that powder on my face, it still hasn't like dried down completely. So I'm worried about it transferring throughout the day. So far it's not, but I'll have to be careful about like talking on my phone or even just touching my face or anything like that. But it looks really pretty. Like it's very luminous. I used a pretty intense highlighter today just because the whole look I did was pretty dramatic. It hasn't settled into any of my fine lines so far, so that's a huge plus. It's just sitting on my skin really nicely. So I will do a few check-ins with you guys throughout the day. I want to make sure that I wear this foundation for a full eight hours to just let you know how it wears throughout the day. My next check-in will be in daylight. I will see you guys in a few hours. It is now 5.30, so this foundation has been on for four hours. And just wanted to give you guys an update on how it is looking. So far, it's still looking pretty good. It's definitely looking shiny, like for it being a very, you know, luminous foundation, I kind of expected that I would look pretty oily, but I took some measures to prevent that. So I used a mattifying primer and I used a mattifying powder on top. So I don't think that it is as bad as I thought it would be. Um, it hasn't caked up at all. It is settling a little bit in my fine lines around my mouth. That happens to me pretty much all the time. And I did use a pretty intense highlighter today, so I can't tell if it's the actual foundation that's emphasizing my pores on my cheeks or if it's just that highlighter that I used. Overall, everything's looking pretty good. I will check in with you guys in another four hours or so, probably whenever I decide to go to bed and just let you know how it's held up throughout the day. So see you in a little bit. It is now almost 9.30 p.m. So I've had this foundation on for eight hours and I am looking pretty shiny. <laughs> looking pretty shiny. I think that in spite of the fact that I look super oily, the foundation has held up really well. It hasn't separated anywhere. It hasn't gone patchy. My contour and highlight still looks pretty good. It has settled into my smile lines and also in my expression lines between my brows there, but other than that, it hasn't really gotten cakey. Like, it's just really, really oily, which is to be expected since it is an oil-based foundation. I don't know if I would be able to make this one work for me, but if you had normal to dry skin, this foundation would probably look really, really good. It would give your skin a lot of life. For me, I'm just not comfortable being this shiny after eight hours 
um, and it was pretty shiny at the four or five hour mark as well but it's a pretty foundation it looks really nice it's held up really well for eight hours but I think just for me and the kind of finish that I like this just isn't matte enough for me I feel like I kind of look like an oil slick I might try wearing this again and just you know trying out some different primers and powders and just seeing if I could make this work for at least eight hours for me but um, but I'm guessing this is not going to be a foundation that I grab for. I might use this foundation to mix in with some of my other foundations if I have a foundation that maybe I feel like looks a little too dull or lifeless but has really good coverage. This would probably be a good foundation to just mix in to give it a little bit of luminosity. I still feel like it never really dried down. It just has like a little bit of a oily feel to it. Not like greasy but just... I don't know even on my neck it just I felt uncomfortable all day because I was worried that it was gonna rub off if I continue to wear it I'll keep you guys updated so be sure to check out the description box below to check for any updates so I'm gonna go wash this off now and I hope you guys have a good night Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you guys like Foundation Friday, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment section below what foundations you would like to see me test out and review. I would love to get your feedback about that. Also be sure to check out the description box below to see what other products I put on my face today. And as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.